I was like um, more a fan of Sekic. I, I, I loved him, like how he played. I played his curve all the time. Uh, since right now, but a little bit different right now. And uh, yeah, just my dad told me when, when we drove in the car one time and uh, I was like 12 years old, I was tell him like, that's my job. And he was just laughing. He was like, yeah, just finish your school and then we see. And, and since now he just tell me about the story. And he's like, you remember this a couple of years ago when you told me yeah, you want to be a pro and now you made it and that's pretty cool like and I think like if you if you have a dream like just go for it and you can can have it yeah like uh, there was there was a, a big fight for me I think uh, I'm 28 when I played my first uh, under uh, my first World Championships, and uh, you feel like you're getting older and it's getting tougher to to play for for your for your national team. And uh, there was uh, I was all the pre pre games uh, I did all the pre games through for the before the, we went to the World Championship, and uh, I I I just played every game since it was my last game, and uh, then we had the uh, the last game before we went to uh, Slovakia in uh, Mannheim against USA and uh, I was nervous like you never know what happens the year before after the last game I get cut and he was like ah sorry you're not on the on the rooster and I was like so why and uh, I had this little bit in my head and I was like Fuck, you have to give everything like that you can play first uh, champion uh, world champions and uh, but before the game, the coach put me in his uh, office and he said, hey, uh, I decided to uh, you the first one that I want to let him know that he's uh, in the team, in the rooster. And uh, he was like, you deserve it. You played every game really hard and really good. And you played, put uh, everything to the stick, uh, game plan. And um, after this, I was like, ah, I made it. And uh, it was a really good feeling and it was more easier to play than against the US than I think before you don't know it, but uh, it was really good, yeah. High wrestle, and then 80% come around the pile and grab the plug and shoot. Relax, wait for my cue, and then you go from there, around the pile and to there. Three, two, one, go! I think back in the times when I was younger, I was really, I had two uh, big shoulder insurance and uh, I was there at 24, 25. And uh, you're not like on, uh, on this stand where I am right now, like you're not like the big leader or like uh, a captain or something. And then you think now I'm, now I'm out for six months, three months. And uh, if I have to come back, uh, I have to work my ass off. And then you don't know if you play right away, you know, you're on the top 60s. And when it happens, I was like, Damn, that's that's a lot of time. They said three months to end of the season, but I say yeah, whatever. I try my best, and right now I'm four weeks faster than I thought. Right now I'm in this age where I say yeah, I don't care about it because I know I, I come back stronger, and I know the the team need me. Right now, I, I, I work uh, three times a day, like with the rehab. I go to the rehab, have their uh, personal coach and work with them. And then uh, I go with Danny on the ice and then uh, I do bike after. It's, like, it's mentally hard. It's uh, every, every morning when you wake up, you're like, oh, just stay in bed the whole day. You're so tired, your legs hurting, your, your, your mind is just freaking out. But then, uh, then the next next time you think it's your job and that's what you love and you know the the team needs you and you have to come back and you have to to go over this this thinking ah, I don't do it you have to you have just to do it like you know if you don't work and then I have family you know I have to work and uh, you have to make money and I have to don't stay at home the whole time and just watching games that's the worst like watching games oh. That's that's where I play. I think it's the worst feeling, and you have more like 
heart beating than when you stay on the ice and I don't want this feeling anymore. I want to be with the team, I want to play the games and uh, that's what likes is more in my mind than to say uh, I don't do it. Step like this, then in out of the middle, then you go in out backwards too. Yeah? Yeah, right now, like in the November break, we have this uh, Deutschland Cup. And um, I was there before I get my uh, injury. And um, there he called me up and he was uh, say, you're my captain right now. And I was, wow, OK, that's nice. I was one of the older players, too, because uh, like Munich and the Mannheim uh, players there didn't come to the to the uh, to these games because they had the Champions League games. So they want to give them a little break. And that was was really nice, like to lead the German national team. And uh, I think uh, I'm like in this age right now, and I am kind of a leader right now. And uh, the coaches see it, and uh, I put everything, I put every time a positive energy in the group, and uh, I think they like it. And uh, yeah, it was nice. I think I'm a leader on the ice and off the ice. Uh, I don't really scream or something. I, I just take the guys with me and I just want to, you know, I want to uh, talk with the guys how I want that the guys talk with me. Like, I think that's really important that uh, that you have a good chemistry and uh, that you don't say what you did or blah, blah, blah. I do it like on my way. I just say, uh, um, yeah, maybe you do this better or that was not a good, good play what you did. So, so maybe we change it and I go this way a long time right now and that, that works good and um, I think everybody likes me how I do it and uh, in this uh, in this love I'm uh, with a uh, in the captains in the captains group and um, I think I, I do a good job and I have a, a good feeling like how to um, to uh, how I can handle the players and uh, I see I see if a couple guys like after the game they're feeling shitty or something and then I just take and say, hey, it's just one game, you know, forget it. Like, we are just, we are just humans, you know, you're not all the time the best and uh, then keep going. And uh, I think it helps a lot of guys because uh, it's all a mentally sports too. Like you have to be really mentally uh, tough. And um, yeah, I think I did do a good job there. That's a good question. I have, for sure, I have dreams to win the cup with uh, with Düsseldorf. That's a really big dream, and uh, a big dream is too because right now you see like uh, German hockey is uh, going really good. We had the last uh, the last year our um, World Championships was good too. We we lost against Czech, but it was was a really close game, and I think we have a good chances to go uh, maybe to the finals in the next couple of years and. Uh, Olympics for sure. That's uh, one dream. What I go with the team too. And uh, when you saw like the year when they win the uh, silver medal, when you just watch it and you're not on the ice, but you feel like the emotions and how how good it is just to stay on the ice with this with these unbelievable players and win the games again, the big uh, nations. And uh, that's 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 one of my dreams for sure. But in 15 years, maybe. I'm not sure if I'm still in this, uh, in, this uh, in, in hockey, but uh, you never know what happens. Uh, right now, I think I play more, more six, seven years when my body won it. And um, yeah, probably I will stay in hockey for some reason, but uh, you never know.